Well, she's already the winningest basketball coach in New York State, and tonight Gina Marr reached yet another milestone. As Fox Eyes Richard G. Kovas shows us, she led the Irvington Bulldogs to victory over the East Chester Eagles, earning her 800th career win as a high school basketball coach. Based on the crowd size inside the gymnasium at Irvington High School tonight, you'd think the Bulldogs had already made it to the playoffs. But if you listen closely... They weren't just cheering for their home team. This crowd was all in for their coach of nearly 50 years, Gina Maul. She's the nucleus of Irvington and this town and the school. She always tells us it's us and not her, but it's really it's her. Yeah, Coach Maher is not just any coach. She's pretty special. Tonight, she's going for her 800th career win after already topping the list as the most winningest female basketball coach in the entire state. And in less than 90 minutes, the Bulldogs won their 15th game of the season, and Coach Gina Marr got number 800. It's amazing. It's, it's um, I could cry. Mobbed by her current players and even dozens of former ones, Coach Marr took it all in with so much humility, with so much grace. It's no wonder she's an inspiration to this entire school community. I never scored a point. I never got a rebound. I never. I never intercepted the ball. They did it, and they believed. She's built almost uh, a culture that just persists generation after generation. Now a special banner hangs above the bleachers, reminding current, former, and future players of the legacy Coach Marr has created. A legacy that will live on forever. We have a thing where we hold the rope, and you have to hold the rope, and everybody from the beginning of the program to the end of the program holds on to the rope, and nobody can let go because then everybody else falls. And if you think Coach Marr is planning on retiring, not by a long shot. In fact, she's shooting for 900 and then 1,000 wins with the Bulldogs. But right now, she's focused on the rest of this season and getting a state championship. But if you ask her what keeps her going, it's the love of the game. We play Austin on Saturday. They're really, really good. So that's, that's what's next. And that's a winning coach. In Irvington, Richard Giacobis, Fox 5 News.